You need to remove the front engine cover, red arrow, the air ducts, yellow arrows, to replace the coolant hoses. So please see our article on engine cover removal for additional assistance by following a link at the end of this video. You will also need to remove the underbody trays and drain the radiator, red arrow. Again, you can follow the link at the end of this video for additional assistance. There are three coolant lines. The left side line that connects the radiator to the thermostat and reservoir, red arrows. The right side hose that connects the radiator to the water pump and heater core, as indicated by the yellow arrows. And the hose that connects the coolant reservoir to the radiator, green arrow. Begin by removing the overflow hose from the clips along the front of the shroud where it runs to the overflow reservoir, red arrow, and release a clip where it mounts to the oil cooler, yellow arrow. Use a flathead screwdriver and release the quick release clip from the connection from the thermostat to the radiator and wiggle and pull the hose out, red arrow. Use a flathead screwdriver and release the quick release clip and pull the upper section of the hose from the water pump to radiator as indicated by the red arrow. Remove the hose from the bottom of the reservoir, yellow arrow, to the radiator by using a flathead screwdriver to release the quick release connection and wiggle pull the hose from the radiator, red arrow. You'll need to remove the radiator fan to replace the radiator. Please see our article and video on radiator fan replacement for additional information by following the link at the end of this video. With the fan removed, you can see the two lines running to the transmission cooler, red arrows. Use a 25 millimeter wrench and remove the lines, red arrow. Make sure to cover the transmission lines. You do not want any contaminants getting into the lines. You are going to lose some fluid, so be prepared to catch and dispose of it correctly, as well as refill the fluid to the proper level. Remove the front grill to access the connection between the radiator and condenser, red arrows. Please see our article on front grill removal for additional assistance, again by following the link at the end of this video. With the grill removed, pull back the rubber air dam and squeeze in the release tabs on each side of the radiator, red arrow and push the top of the radiator back from the condenser. Under the vehicle, the radiator is connected to the condenser in three areas, as well as sitting in rubber grommets on the frame. The lower plastic tab on the condenser sits in the radiator, red arrow. In addition, there are two mounts on the condenser that slip into the radiator, yellow and green arrows. Release the lower clip, then slide the top of the radiator back towards the engine. With the lower clips undone, tilt the radiator back and pull it up and out of the engine bay. Installation is the reverse of removal. Remember to refill and bleed the coolant system as well as top up the level on the transmission fluid. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.